welcome to our online chemistry class our topic is transition and inner transition elements let us discuss part number four in this part we will discuss periodic trends of lanthanides first we discuss electronic configuration we can simplify the electronic configuration of lanthanides by xenon atomic number 54 and then we can add remaining electron in 4f 5d and 6s orbital the sequence is first 6s then 5d then 4f so the general electronic configuration of lanthanides represented by xenon 4f 0 to 14 5d 0 or 1 and 6s contain 2 electrons the lanthanides involve gradual filling of f orbital the energies of 5d and 4f orbitals are very close for lanthanum 4f is slightly higher in energy than 5d the lanthanum has electronic configuration xenon 6s2 5d1 and not 6s2 4f1 okay because lanthanum is a d block element and not the f block element while the gadolinium represented by zd and lutetium lu have 5d orbital contain one electron to make 4f orbital half filled and full filled respectively which render them extra stability so this uh, we already discussed in our previous part while discussing the electronic configuration so the electronic configuration of lanthanides have variable occupancy in 4f orbital that is ranges from 0 to 14 electrons then next one is the oxidation state the common oxidation state shown by the lanthanides is plus 3 to all elements in which two electrons of 6s and one electron from 5d or 4f subshell are removed but it also shows plus 2 and plus 4 oxidation state the 4f electrons are screened by the inner electrons of 5 s and 5p electrons thus 4f electrons are not involved in bonding beside this some lanthanide shows plus 2 and plus 4 oxidation state they form in case of 4f 0 f7 f14 configuration or resulting ions for example ce4 plus contain zero electron in 4f orbital eu2 plus and tb4 plus contain seven electron in that 4f orbitals and yb2 plus contain 14 electrons in their 4f orbitals so if there are 14 electrons this is more stable then next to that stability is 7 electrons and if there is no electron that is also stable so this is about the oxidation state the next property is the color and the spectra so some trivalent ion m3 plus are colored in solid state as well as in solutions and the reason behind this is the ff transition it corresp uh, it correspond to energy in the visible region of the electromagnetic spectrum and color of ion having nf electron is about the same as those having 14 minus n f electron where n is the integer ranges from 1 to 13 so number of electrons present in this 4f orbital or 14 minus number of electrons present in that 4f orbital and according to this number the color will be decided 
let us discuss some ions of lanthanide pr3 plus contain what is the uh, contain two electrons in this 4f orbital so electronic configuration is 4f2 and what is the color it is green in color if we calculate 14 minus this 2 that is number of electron present in f orbital the answer is 12 then tm3 plus it contains 12 electron in 4f orbital it also shows green color even though n is not 2 n is 12 so 14 minus 12 is nothing but 2 so this 14 minus n is equal to 12 or 2 they show same color because 4f contain 2 or 12 electrons similarly nd3 plus contain 3 electron in 4f orbital and it shows pink color because 14 minus 3 is 11 and er3 plus contain 11 electron in 4f orbital it also shows pink color because 14 minus 11 is equal to 3 so if there are 3 electron or 11 electron the color is same that is pink color then next property is atomic and ionic radii so here when discussing this periodic property we will mainly discuss one important point that is lanthanide contraction what is lanthanide contraction many time question may be asked in your board exam what is lanthanide contraction what is the causes of lanthanide contraction and what is the effect of lanthanide contraction so the gradual decrease in atomic or ionic that is ion is m3 plus size with increase in atomic number are known as lanthanide contraction let us discuss the causes of lanthanide contraction as we move from cerium atomic number 58 to lutetium atomic number 71 with this increase in atomic number the effective nuclear charge is also increased by one unit and what is the reason behind that due to addition of one electron in the same inner 4f orbital the second reason is the shielding effect of 4f electron is very poor as compared to d orbital then the effect of nuclear charge is more than the shielding effect and the 4f valence subshell have diffuse shape hence with increase in nuclear charge the valence shell is pulled slightly towards the nucleus and due to these reasons the size of that atom or ion goes on decreasing because atomic size is nothing but distance of that valence electron from the nucleus and this decrease in atomic or ionic size is called as lanthanide contraction then what is the effect of this lanthanide contraction first is decrease in basicity as we move from lanthanum to lutetium and if we write their basis first is LaOH thrice and last one is LuOH thrice due to if we move from left to right due to increase in covalent character and decrease in ionic character of MOH bond the basicity decreases then second effect is ionic radio post lanthanide elements so this post lanthanides those elements which comes after lanthanide is called as post lanthanides so if you observe the plus 3 oxidation state of this one post lanthanides mainly hf ta w and re of third transition series that is sixth period element have almost same size to that of the elements zr nb mo and tc of previous that is second transition series present in the fifth period respectively so 
the pair zr hf nb ta mow tcre these pairs are called as chemical twins because their properties are identical then next property is the effective magnetic moment the lanthanides in plus 3 oxidation state shows effective magnetic moment as we earlier discussed in the transition metal the effective magnetic moment mu effective can be calculated by the formula under root n into n plus 2 bm that is bohr's magneton where n is number of unpaired electron present in the that cation or metal ion so we can easily calculate the effective atomic number the next one is the applications of lanthanides so first application is it is used inside the color television tube or computer monitor coated with tiny patch of lanthanides for example oxides of europium and yttrium release this an intense red color and second application is NDYAG laser. What is that? We form neodymium dope yttrium aluminium garnet. Third application is erbium doped fiber amplifiers are used in optical fiber communication system. Then fourth is lanthanides are used in hybrid cars and superconductors and permanent magnets. Then next one is the actinides. So, what is the definition of actinides? The differentiating electrons or last electron enters in phi f orbitals that is pre penultimate shell, and the series of the elements is known as actinides. They come after actinium, that's why they are called as actinides and their physical and chemical properties are similar to actinium. The actinides name has been derived from actinium which is a prototype of actinides. So actinide constitutes the second inner transition series. It begins with thorium to laurentium atomic number 103. Then all these actinides are radioactive and they are man-made elements. They can be synthesized in laboratory. Then the these elements have high density and they have high melting points and boiling points. Then they are less reactive than lanthanides. We can represent these element with general electronic configuration as radon atomic number 86 4f 02 14 6d 01 and 7s contain two electrons So here one printing mistake is done uh, in the atomic number atomic number of thorium is 90 okay then the general electronic configuration is read on 5f 0 to 14 6d contains 0 or 1 electron 7s contain 2 electron so these elements comes after actinium and first 7s orbital is filled then 7d and then 5 so let us discuss the detail about the electronic configuration of actinides so actinium atomic number 89 radon 
5f0 6d1 7s2 so 5f does not contain electron 6d contain 1 and 7s contain 2 electrons so as 6d contain 1 electron and 5f contain 0 electron actinium is not a a block element it is also a d block element similar to your lanthanum but their properties are similar to this remaining element that's why it is discussed with actinides so if one electron from 6d and two electron from 7s are donated by this actinium then it shows ac3 plus so electronic configuration of actinium is red on 5f0 then thorium atomic number 90 now here the electronic configuration is red on 5f0 6d2 7s2 now if we donate two electron from 7s and one electron from 6d then the electronic configuration is 5f1 because that one electron from 6d promoted to 5f and ph 3 plus will be formed similarly you can write the electronic configuration of remaining element so here the protactium PA electronic configuration atomic number is 91 electronic configuration is RN 5F2 6D1 7S2 then uranium 92 5F3 6D1 7S2 then neptunium 93 is the atomic number red on 5F4 6D1 7S2 plutonium 94 is the atomic number then red on 5f6 6d0 7s2 so one electron from 6d is promoted to 5f so 5f contains 6 electron then americium atomic number 95 5f7 6d0 and 7s2 there is no electron in the 6d orbital because 5f is half filled there are seven electron so it has more stability than 5f6 so one electron is not in 6d it is in the same 5f orbital then curium atomic number 96 5f7 6d1 7s2 now if this donate three electron from 6d and 7s then 5f contains seven electron which is a half filled so it is more stable then berkelium atom number 97 5f9 6d0 7s2 then californium red on 5f10 6d0 7s2 there is no electron in the d orbital okay again the previous one electron from 6d the curium is added in the same high f orbital so there are nine electron initially there are seven electron but one electron from 6d is also added in the 5f so electronic configuration is 5f9 6d0 7s2 then californium cf atom number 98 the electronic configuration is red on 5f10 6d0 7s2 then einsteinium atomic number 99 rn 5f11 6d0 7s2 fermium 5f12 6d0 7s2 mendelium 101 is the atomic number 5f13 6d0 7s2 Nobelium 102 is the atomic number 5f14 6d0 7s2. Now 5f is filled, so there is no stable, there is no 6d electron. And laurentium atomic number 101 5f14 
by a 14 cvd1 7s2 so if we check the electronic configuration of thorium it contains 6d contain 2 electron protactinium contain 1 electron uranium contain 1 electron neptunium contain 1 electron then curium contain 1 electron and lastly laurentium contain 1 electron in 6d orbital in remaining cases 6d contain 0 electron in its orbital then this is about the electronic configuration then we again go oxidation states of actinides like lanthanides actinides also show variable oxidation state what is the reason behind that it is due to availability of 5f 6d and 7s sub levels the most common oxidation state of these elements is plus 3 then the elements am th shows plus 2 oxidation state in some of their compounds like thi2 ths thbr2 as atomic number increases the plus 3 oxidation state goes on becoming more and more stable so if you observe am2 lr they show plus 3 oxidation state then th then uranium and plutonium they show plus 4 oxidation state which is the stable one Similar to that, Pa and Np, they also show plus 4 oxidation state. Then, the elements Pa and Np, they show plus 5 as a stable oxidation state. Along with that, Th, U, Pu and Am, they also show plus 5 oxidation state. Then, uranium shows stable plus 6 oxidation state along with that np np pu and am they also show plus 6 oxidation state whereas np and pu they show highest oxidation state as a plus 7 then np3 plus and pu3 plus get oxidized to np4 plus and pu4 plus respectively in their aqueous solution u4 plus np4 plus are stable in their aqueous solutions bk4 plus is the stable oxidation state of berkelium and it is a oxidizing but more stable than cm4 plus and am4 plus what is the reason behind that it is due to f7 which is a half filled electronic configuration similar to that no it shows plus 2 oxidation state it is again due to f14 electronic configuration which is the completely filled electronic configuration when the oxidation number increases to plus 6, the actinide ions are no longer simple. Higher charge density causes the formation of oxygenating ions. And what is that? It is a oxocation UO2 plus, 2 plus and NPO2 2 plus. The exhibition of large number of oxidation state of actinide is due to the fact that there is a very small energy gap between 5F, 6D and 7S subshell and thus all their electron can take part in the bond formation. The actinides resemble the lanthanides in having more compounds in plus 3 as a stable state than in the plus 4 however plus 3 and plus 4 ions tends to hydrolytes the similarities in lanthanides 
and actinides. Both the series shows a plus 3 oxidation state. So, lanthanide also shows plus 3, actinide also shows plus 3. In both the series, the F orbitals are filled gradually. Then, the ionic radius of the elements in both series decreases with increase in atomic number. And due to this, there is a decrease in the size. So, it is called as contraction, lanthanide contraction and actinide contraction. The electron negativity of all the elements in both the series is low and are said to be highly reactive. The next one is the nitrates, perchlorates and sulfates of all the elements are soluble while the hydroxides, fluorides and carbonates are insoluble in nature. The next one is the comparison between pre-transition lanthanides and transition metals. So first is pre-transition metal, second one is lanthanides and third one is transition metal. So first point is essential monovalent shows group N plus oxidation state. Here we know that lanthanide shows plus 3 as a common oxidation state and along with that it shows plus 2 and plus 4. Then transition metal shows variable oxidation state from plus 1 to plus 7. Magnesium shows highest plus 7 oxidation state. And second is periodic train dominates by effective nuclear charge at noble gas configuration. Then in case of lanthanides we observe that there is a contraction in the atomic or ionic size. So that is called as lanthanide contraction. Then in case of transition metal size changes of that Mn plus ion and it is but that change is very very small less remarkable. Then next properties similar properties for Q1 group. In case of lanthanide also we observe the similar properties. Then transition metal substantially changes in their properties. Their properties are totally different. Then next is always hard oxygen, halogen, nitrogen. These are the donor elements because they contain lone pair of electron. They form preferably negatively charged ion O2 minus oxide, X1 minus halide, then N3 minus nitride. Then, in case of lanthanides, always hard oxygen, nitrogen, and halogens, they are donor, which is similar to your pre transition element. And in case of transition element, heavier metals are there, increasingly from iron to copper, may show a soft character. Then, in case of pre transition metals, no ligand field effect. Then, in case of lanthanide, insignificant ligand field effect, but we observe ligand field effect in case of transition metals. Then, if you observe the coordination property, it is very very poor in case of pre transition metals and their coordination number determined by size. Then, lanthanide shows high coordination numbers, it is also determined by size. In case of transition metal, coordination number is 6, which is a maximum coordination number. And there are many exceptions. 4 is also a coordination number observed in case of transition metal. So you can check the coordination number. What is coordination number? It is the number of ligand or the donating ion or groups surrounded by central metal ion in coordination number. Then if you observe the geometry, three transition metals have flexibility in geometry similar to this lanthanide also have flexibility in their geometry but in case of transition metal due to ligand field effect they have fixed geometries like tetrahedral, octahedral. Then pre transition metal does not show magnetism, lanthanide shows magnetism and transition metal also shows magnetism. 
explain we'll discuss the distinguish between lanthanides and actinides so first point is in case of lanthanide the differentiating electron entered in 4f orbitals okay because it is a 4f series and what is the position of lanthanide it belongs to sixth period and form a part of third transition series then in case of actinide the differentiating electron enters in 5f orbital they belongs to seventh period and it is the form of a part of fourth transition series then except second point is except promethium all elements occur in nature except uranium and thorium they are naturally occur remaining all elements they are synthesized in laboratory then third distinguished point is the binding energy of lanthanide that is 4f orbitals are higher binding energy of 5f orbitals of actinides are lower the next properties about the radioactivity only promethium of that lanthanide is radioactive all the actinides are radioactive in nature then fifth point is related to oxidation state common oxidation state of lanthanide and actinide is plus 3 which is same but along with this lanthanide shows plus 2 and plus 4 oxidation state in few cases while actinide shows plus 4 plus 5 and plus 7 oxidation number in the pre part of actinide series then lanthanides have less tendency to form the complexes actinides have greater tendency to form complexes what about the color some ions of lanthanides are fairly colored while most of the ions of actinides are deeply colored then lanthanides cannot form oxocations but actinides can form oxocations and it is the example uo2 plus uo1 plus puo2 plus then next distinguished point is hydroxides of lanthanides are less basic while the hydroxides of actinides are more basic then last distinguished point is the lanthanide contraction is relatively less as compared to actinides but actinide contraction is greater as compared to lanthanide contraction so these are the distinguished point between lanthanides and actinides so many time two mark question may be asked in your board exam so you have to write any four correct point out of this ten so remember five six point and out of that five six point you can write any four so this is about the transition and inner transition elements thank you for watching my youtube channel mukesh kharge